Good morning and welcome to our virtual nature basket. I'm Miss Laura and today we're going to be talking about amphibians. Our story is called Being Frog by April Pooley Sayer. A frog is a being. It is watching. It is seeing. A frog has favorites. This rock, this log. Its daily job? Support the frog. A frog must hunt. It scans, it spies, it crawls, it lunges, it fails, it retries. It cools in the shade beneath a flower. It hides underwater, bath, or shower. It kicks and surfaces, its eyeballs gaze. Does it remember tadpole days? First egg, then tadpole. Two legs, four. A tiny froglet climbed ashore. Now it suns, it cave spelunks. A green frog calls with a glunk, glunk, glunk. It climbs a cliff, mossy, steep. It sits so still and then suddenly, leap. Does it ponder? We don't know. Does a frog time fly? Or trail, snail slow, waiting? Watching, scanning, seeing. A frog has a life. A frog is a being. And now, Miss Constance is gonna to talk to you about amphibians. Good morning, everyone. The word amphibian means two lives. Amphibians spend their lives in water and on land. All amphibians begin their life in water with gills and tails. As they grow, they develop lungs, legs for their life on land. Amphibians are cold-blooded, which means they are the same temperature as the air or the water around them. There are more than 4,000 different kinds of amphibians. Members of animal classes are frogs, toads, salamanders, newts, Sicilians, and blindworms. Amphibians breathe through their skin. Most kinds also breathe through their lungs or organs called gills. Amphibian skin takes in water too. Most amphibians have moist skin and most species, if the skin dries up, the animal soon dies. The skin often contains glands that make a slimy fluid called mucus. Mucus helps protect, protect the skin from drying out. Many amphibians also have glands in the skin that make poison. This helps protect the amphibians from, their animal, from other animals that want to eat them. For example, poison may make the amphibian taste bad or hurt the predator's mouth. Now we're gonna talk about some of the different kinds of amphibians. Adult frogs and toads are tailless. Their eyes are large and well-developed. They have short and thick bodies and four legs. Frogs use their long, powerful legs for leaping and swimming. Toads have shorter back legs than frogs do. They walk or hop about. Unlike other amphibians, toads have skin, but it is often dry with bumps that kind of look like warts. Salamanders have tails. Most salamanders are small headed and short body and four legs. If a salamander loses its tail or legs, it can usually grow a new one. Sicilians look like worms or snakes. They have long slender bodies with no arms or legs. Skin bone covers their eyes so the animals are blind or nearly blind. Most kinds live underground where they tunnel about. During cold winters, some amphibians become very inactive for months. They enter a resting state called hibernation. They become active again when the weather gets warmer. Some amphibians also become inactive during hot, dry summers. Adult amphibians eat a wide variety of foods. Frogs, toads, and salamanders eat mainly small, boneless animals such as insects, worms, and spiders. Some salamanders and frogs eat small birds, mammals, and Sicilians eat worms. Today's craft is decorating a frog. You can have your parent pick it up at the administration building. We would love to see what you have made. Have a parent or guardian take a picture and post it online. Thanks for joining us.